Okay, class 10, MBSC Mathematics, exercise 4.3, linear equation into a variable, which will be, uh, which I will be solved by uh, using cross multiplication method. Okay, so first of all, let's solve uh, question number one. Look at the equation carefully. We have given, we are given that x plus 3y is equal to 6 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. So, in cross multiplication, we cannot simply uh, calculate this, okay? Like the substitution method, we have to follow some steps, okay? If it is cross multiplication, be careful, okay? We need a diagram and also, first of all, uh, this equation is not uh, in the correct way to solve a cross multiplication, okay? And this is not in a correct method. For cross multiplication, I want the constant term to be at the left hand side. The constant term must be always at the left hand side remember that okay and there will always be zero at the right hand side so that means that i don't have any zero here and the constant term are both in the right hand side that means i have to change okay so here we have x plus 3y is equal to 6 this is the incorrect term so i have to make change here which is equal to x plus 3y positive 6 will move to the left hand side that is it will become negative 6 which is equal to 0 this one will be our equation 1 and second part of the equation is 2x minus 3y equal to 12 likewise 12 is at the right hand side we don't want that so 2x minus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0 this one will be our equation so as you can see here both the constant term change its sign this is very important okay if you don't make this type of changes then you won't get the right answer you will always get the wrong answer so you have to be very very careful with this okay next next is i want you to mark on i want you to remember this okay you don't have to write this down uh, but i want you to know that see equation one look at equation one the first equation will be this one will be a1 this one will be b1 and this one will be c1 okay likewise the second part will be a2 b2 and c2 okay this is uh, how it is done so you have to remember the step okay so you don't have to write this down okay this is just for your understanding so we have uh, some formula for this one mm. We have some formula for this one before that you can also uh, write it like this okay we have a1 is equal to coefficient of x is 1 1 b1 is equal to coefficient of y is 3 then c1 constant term is negative 6 then likewise a2 is equal to 2 b2 is equal to uh, coefficient of y is negative 3 and c2 is equal to negative 12 okay so as we mark this down next step is the formula okay so diagram we need a diagram here before that using cross multi a method we must have okay so I will write the diagram in uh, using a pen a red a red pen this means that you don't have to write this down in your calculation okay but you have to know it if you are clear with, with it you don't have to write it down so the method is the diagram is as this way okay First, you have to start with B1. B1 will start. B1, C1, A1, then ends with B1. Here also B2, C2, A2, and B2. So we start with B. B1, C1, A1, B1. B2, C2, A2, B2. Then here, this will be under X, and this will be under y and this will be under one okay one means constant okay so what we have to do next is 
we have to multiply these two then we have to subtract the multiplication of these two likewise up down down up up down down up okay so if you remember this diagram you can simply arrange it here okay without writing this down okay by looking at this it's very simple so i if i memorize the uh, diagram i can put it b1 here b1 is 3 c1 is negative 6 a1 is 1 b is 3 b2 is negative 3 c2 is negative 12 and uh, a2 is 2 and b2 is negative 3 so this will be rx this will be sorry this will be a y and this will be a constant okay so uh, use this uh, use mark this with your pencil okay it is it is better with your pencil this one this one this one this one and this one is you have to do it with your pencil okay mark this with your pencil so let's do the calculation here our next step is now this should become under x x by first multiply this to 3 into negative 12 is 3 to the 6 3 1 is 3 minus 36 then minus minus here is a formula okay then after this minus into minus plus 6 3 is a 18 minus 36 minus 18 okay now next step is we have to put equal to sign here y by minus 6 into 2 is minus 12 then minus will be here minus 12 into 1 is minus 12 then under constant term we will be having 1 into minus 2 is minus 3 minus 3 to the 6 so this is our next step and after that we do the calculation here which is equal to which implies as we already have equal to sign here we have to use implies here x by negative 36 minus 18 is you have to add and the sign will be minus 8 plus 6 is 14 3 plus 1 is 4 5 54 minus 54 which is equal to y by minus 12 plus minus into minus is plus minus 12 plus 12 is 0 which is equal to 1 by minus 9 so <coughs> as we have done the uh, make it into uh, the simplest constant term here if all these three uh, parts are in a constant term the next step will be this way okay then x by minus 54 is equal to you have to take the constant term okay 1 by minus 9 and likewise y by 0 is equal to constant term okay you have to take the constant term in both x and y then you will do the cross multiplication okay now minus my will move to here yeah, minus 54 into 1 is x is equal to minus 54 by minus 9 and set its other so the value of x is 6 and y is equal to 0 into 1 is 0 by minus 9 then the value of y is 0 so as we can see here the value of x and y is 6 and 0 okay now linear equation means you have to find out the unknown variable okay that is x and y two variables in each one x and y you have to find x and y in substitution method also we find the value of x to y Okay, the important thing is finding the value of uh, the unknown, which are x and y. Okay, that's all for cross multiplication, question number one.